Fireworks at the neighborhood meeting in Monument tonight. You just heard neighbors sounding off on a proposed rehab center moving into their community. Elizabeth on assignment. You heard it firsthand, Elizabeth. A lot of upset neighbors there this evening. Oh yeah, Robin, as you can see, the Ramada Inn sign has already been taken down. The front doors to the building say, sorry, we are closed. The rehab center officially closed on this building on Tuesday. They had a meeting today to address neighbors' concerns and tempers were flaring. A show of hands for Monument neighbors who do not want a rehab facility to move next door. It was standing room only at the Tri Lakes Chamber Visitor Center as reps from Sunshine Behavioral Health try and explain what they're all about. But things got rowdy at times. I'm going to ask her to be escorted out the room because she's disrupting the meeting. We are trying to have a civilized meeting and to answer your questions. Folks upset the hotel is likely being changed to a drug and alcohol rehab facility. The site is zoned for that type of facility and an El Paso County rep showed up to explain that that can't be changed. Neighbors say they support the mission, especially with the opioid crisis, but they have a lot of concerns about location. What is going to happen to the housing values and that kind of thing? And then with all the schools really close, um, as a parent of two girls, I mean, yeah, that's one of the worries. We just moved to Monument, so we paid top dollar for our house, and this will probably lower um, property values. Right now, a site development plan needs to be approved by the county, and federal laws protect people with disabilities. So they, they can't discriminate based on the type of operation that it is. The CEO of Sunshine Behavioral Health says they have a vetting process, they won't accept criminals, and it's not a methadone clinic. And they come to us voluntarily, so it's not like they're court mandated or, you know, pushed into treatment or drug in there. I mean, they want to get the help and they, they're excited to come and get that. While some neighbors came with an open mind and wanted to listen, most just mad it's looking like a done deal and they had no say in the matter. Now, county commissioners could hear appeals from neighbors and businesses on the property change, but the commissioners could only consider changes to the site plan in that hearing, which has to do with driveways, fencing, landscaping, things of that nature. Now, if the plan's approved, the next step is to get the building permits, get everything up to code. The center wants to open Mountain Springs Recovery by early 2019. Watching out for you, Elizabeth Watts, News 5.